Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Guild Wars fun thing. This is a Norn home instance. And these are kind of things you can get in a home instance, and uh, I just thought it'd be fun to show everybody. Now, this isn't all of them. I'm still missing, uh, let's see here, four, five, six, seven items which I'm currently working on getting, but eventually I'll get them all. I think the hardest one is the ed enhanced treasure chest. Uh, I need the treasure hunter for that one, and I got a little ways to go before I can complete that. But these are just basic items you could pick up in a home instance, and I figure I'd do all the uh, classes. So we're gonna start out with the Norn. Fila dispersing resonator. Exactly what that does all together, but we got different types of uh, trees we get to chop down. I do not have the hardwood or the elder wood yet, and I'm also missing the flaxseed and ghost peppers, which would be in here, and then the advanced uh, leather and cloth. I'm still missing, but I'll get them. These are. Nice little holographic targets and playthings for cats. Which I don't see any of cats around. And then we could do. Drop that. The water pistol! Which does nothing to those animals. This does. <laughs> Launches water at cats or cat like animals to strike fear in their hearts. Now, the, the king size candy one, usually got to wait to Halloween, but there is a place in uh, Lion's Arch up in the top right or top left corner. And if you get all the, um, you get one size and then you get a king size. So you got to just go over there and get it. It's not that hard. It's really easy. It's a little one. Oops. The wrong button here. Uh, where's Lion Brunch? There it is. It's over here. It's there, the one. It's over in this area. But I guess you really can't see it. It's like here, I think it is. There's a bunch of event things that are no longer accessible that you could still go get if you need to. I think the Norn is probably one of the biggest home instances I don't think any of the other norm ones are that big or uh, other norm other uh, other classes I think Norn is the biggest but we'll see because I'm gonna put them all together in one video as I collect all the goodies I'm not seeing a cat anywhere Most of these you can get pretty easily. Some you can get from Black Lion. I don't think you can get them all from Black Lion Chest anymore, right? Some of them, uh, I think they're no longer available. You just have to buy them on the, uh, the trading post if you want. Some are expensive, which is what I'm working for on the uh, advanced leather and a cloth. Those are really expensive. I think they're like two and three hundred gold right now. Might be even more than that. Who knows? And if you're seeing this video a long time from now, then it's way more than that. All right, what else we got? We got some brand stone. Sell some goodies. Mordial Orchard. Uh, there we go. The Flu Rat Crystals. I hope I'm saying that right. And Nemesite. <laughs> I definitely said that one wrong. This is the mining area. Makes it easier if you've got speed up, but 
so be it. Now, this over here is the, uh, the Black Lion board, uh, I forgot what they call it offhand. Uh, like, a fender thing, I believe. Hold on, you know what, let me look real quick. It's the upgrade items or something? Like, uh, expeditions, that's what I was looking for, expeditions. You can, you can choose different expeditions, and I'll go look at it here in a second. Once I collect all these items. Such a nice price. Still such a nice price. Yes, I know. Salvage. Winter berry bush. This is good if you want to get that, that, um, the mask, underwater mask. That's where you could spend those winter berries to get that underwater mask, which is really nice. So this is the Black Lion Requisition Team Post. So basically, you could send a Black Lion into each one of these areas. And it says I don't have End of Dragons, but I do have End of Dragons. I thought I did. But, uh, maybe I just need to cross it out. So you could choose different places to go. Right now, I got to go in for Lake Doric. And maybe I should go for Bitter Frost. I'm going to go for Bitter Frost. And let's see here. What's season four? Thunderhead Peaks. Uh, let's change it over to Dragonfall for now. And End of Dragons. Nope, I want them to go fishing. You could do different provinces, stuff you get in these areas. Uh, the trophies. Right now, I'm gathering blood. I need to collect more blood. And then the basic resources, I'm gathering leather because that's kind of the hardest thing for me to get right now. I should probably get some common jewel or some jewels or some cloth, but leather is what I need. And uh, every time you log in, you'll get a little mail with all this stuff in it, and then you can open it up and voila. All right, let's go up here and get my gardens quickly quickly now you can buy these plot gardens on the black lion trading post when they come available and it allows you just to plant different things here i like these items these coda blossoms and uh the spider warts and all this because you can make them into these two hour um, potions and they pretty much stack pretty decently to a certain point. But instead of just having like half an hour on these little potions, you run it and it'll let the potion run for two hours. And they're not that expensive to make either. They're pretty decent. And you get a little grower and then you have to do a quest and it allows you to get all these different things to plant go through and plant so much stuff and you can actually buy harvesting things and recipes which I already got them because that's what I do uh, wait hey what are you doing wake up uh, I can't go up there and I'm trying to remember if there's anything back here I don't think there is but we'll go take a look you're sleeping too wake up a water gun is only working on cats which I haven't seen any cats <coughs> hmm. Let's see. no I don't see any cats Hylix no all right, let's go up for the, the last bit of stuff up here. These are the uh, supply chest, exalted chest, airdrops, things you get. In the world. You have to have like little keys and stuff to, to get into them. So like this pole, you can run out. So you just got to do quests in the maps. And all you have to do is go over to these maps. Here in Verdenbrink, you get the poles. Um, Arctic Basin, you get the, the Exalted Keys. And Tangle, uh, Tangle Depths, you get the uh, Acid. You just collect about 
30 or 40 of those and you can go a few days without have to worry about it, 30 or 40 days. If you're just doing dailies. Yeah, I think I have collected everything. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it all. So the next one will be uh, another class and you'll get to see that home instance. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and stay tuned for the next class. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. And in this one, we're looking at the Salma, Salma district. This is the human home instant. And with all its goodies, well, not all of them, like I said on the last one, there are a few I'm still left, st still trying to get. And I will eventually get them. expensive but you know that's how it goes we got the uh big candy corn king size gives us two runs which i'm way over on this anyway a lot of it this launch pad will take you up here to where the uh farming is and we got the feline dispersing resonator up here is some ore but i like to have this type of path I go down here, come around, and we'll go from there. Yeah, we gotta get all the stuff that's hidden around this side. Some nice data, brim, crimson data. Yeah, we'll say that. This is the uh, black line request thing, and this, what you get is this. They did deliver this to you daily. And it's this thing right here, and when you click on it, depending on what you search for, it gives you all kinds of stuff. A surplus delivery box. So you get extra stuff, things to go through and look at. It's nice, sometimes they're really good stuff. But hey, it's daily free stuff, so why not, right? Get my salvage pit. Salvage pile. Brand stone. Got to hide this stuff in the alley. Dragon crystal node. Mistborn moat. Oh, I forgot about this one right here. Estonium. Run past that. That's all the good stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. And if you're ever lacking on like parts, which I mean, you shouldn't, if you like the keys to open these, you could just do the, um, you could just do these, uh, parts of thorns here, which I'm doing it for this character because I've never done it for this character, but you just run through there and grab all that stuff and you get a few extra, uh, you know, poles and you can never have too acid and stuff like that. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something. My basics. I need the advanced. Can't wait to get the advanced. Eternal ice. Where's the uh, bandit chest? Oh, there it is. It's over there. That one randomly spawns in different areas. Sometimes you can see it here, here. Uh, there's one place like back here. It's stump, man. Petrified stump. That's a purified. Here's my chili peppers. And here's your cat toys and water guns. If you want to play with your cat. I think I drove it off with that uh, little device. Bloodstone. A lot of bloodstone. You know what I really get a lot of? What are these stars. Where are the stars at? These right here. Like stars. You get a lot of those. Get these goodies. 
Then we go up the stairs. Like I said, I'm a Nord one. You just, I just get these so I can get the uh, the uh, utility and uh, the food primers. It's not like the other one where you get 12 hours. You can make ones just for two hours. Pretty decent. I like it. Plus, you know, if you get these mining tools, you get extra volatile magics every time you do stuff every day, which is kind of nice. Or the other one is the unstable, I think it is, magic. Oh, all collected. Oh, good. Let's go over here. Get you hiding in this little corner. Then we go up around this corner right here. We'll collect all of these goodies. But you know, coppers. Why can't you have a gun? Did he say, why can't I have a gun? Sometimes it's fun listening to these people talk. Just random stuff they say. There's always a lady over here missing a child, but you never find out if she found the child or not. They always say, come to my office. And then they disappear into the office and you never hear anything again. Zombie huh. berries. We get the Orient truffles. The lotus. Those couples. And that right now is all I have for this area. So you'll get to see the uh, next class area coming up. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you later. All right. All right. We are in the Soren home base. Home instance. The lab. And we're going to run around and grab some goodies from here. And you guys can see what it looks like. I think it's one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I think it is. I think uh, the Norn has the, uh, the biggest. And we'll talk about it eventually, I guess. Most of the stuff in here is basically what every, every home instance has. And um, you just go around and collect all the goodies. This one is like jam-packed all in one area. I love this one. It's so easy just to go through and get everything. This is my. This is normally the main one I do. Uh, sometimes I do the human one because there is a neat little path in the human one. It makes it easier to go through. Man, I walk right past that one. Um, but I'll do this one a lot more most of the time. I got to go right here and get something. Oh, did I already? Nope, I don't. Wait. Have I ever been up in here? Huh. I don't know if I've ever been up in here. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Those are your only two choices. Binary. Tridecimal. All right, let's go over here and grab all this goodies. The King Conda Corn Node. This one's actually pretty easy to get during Halloween event. Most of them are generally easy to get. The um, the ones like right here, you have to buy on a Black Lion Trading Company. These you pick up. I think you buy them in a. I think you buy them here in a Sora, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Hold on. Like somewhere down in here i just don't remember offhand but yeah you could play with the kitties and stuff like that and the feline dispensers i think you get them all in there 
Two of them are pretty cheap. They're only silvers, I do believe. One, I think there's a, it's a couple of gold. The hard ones to get are like these. I actually bought these off the uh, trading, Black Lightning Trading Company, because it was either that or find them in a, um, a chest, a Black Lion chest. I don't think you can get them anywhere else. You might be able to. I mean, you can go look at the wiki page and see all the good stuff there. Now, this is a find. Is it? Is it a find? Hey, DYN. How you doing, buddy? Talking to me today? No? Still mad? Okay. Maybe one day you'll get over it. <laughs> Mistborn Moat. Valuable. Primordial Arch Orchard. Third orchard. I have 73 of those. I will eventually complete the rest of these too. I keep saying that in every instance, but I mean you guys you guys will see this all in one video and this will be like five days <laughs> for me, so I might repeat the same things. I'm sorry. It's not on purpose. And I already did the Black Lion stuff. I didn't get much out of it today. It some basic stuff. Mist Onium. Mist, lumps of mistonium. How much do I have? Oh, well. Let's get my oysters. This is a fine. Is that? <laughs> All right, got those goodies. How you doing up there, buddy? They just stand up there, don't they? They don't even move. Look at them. You guys are just hanging out up there. Are you watching me? Yeah, maybe it's just me. Found bandit chest. Get my jade fragment. Grab the S. Here, got you drinking, guys. Fluorite crystals. Is it valuable? We got 777 of them. That's a great number. Tokawa. Tokawa. I'm not even going to try it. I'll be slaughtering the names. Winterberry Bush. Like I said before, great for the underwater helmet. Get a bunch of these for underwater helmets. Do I have an, do I have an underwater helmet on me on this? Oh, no. Uh, why do I have a green one? What the heck? Well, looks like I got something to fix. Um, oh, yeah. For some time, for some reason, I thought I had the. Uh, I thought I already had it on. Hmm. Messing it up. Get me, got me, and I believe that is it. If we look around the map here, there's nothing left. So yep, we got everything. So let's go on to the uh, next class. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. See you on the other one. All right. We are back to the Savari home instance. It's uh, Dreamers Terrace, and this is what this looks like. With most of the uh, goodies inside. Again, like I keep saying on each one, I don't have them all yet, but I will. 
think after this, all I got is the char, right? Yeah, I think all I got left after this one is the char. I could go to the garden immediately. Check out the black lion stuff, which I did say on the last one we'd look at it, but I didn't. Because, you know, I mess up all the time like that. Let's pick up these things. All the goodies. I'm interested to where all the rest of the stuff is. So on this point, you could go up, you know. But what I usually do is just go, there you go. We're all around. And we pick up all this good stuff. Bobbles. Of the berries. This is where all the mining stuff is. It's valuable. I remember when these were like really valuable. It's a long time ago. That's how it goes in games. As they upgrade them. <clears throat> things that used to be really good are not so good anymore. Because there are now better things. Oh, the days. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to interrupt. Just uh, grabbing the goodies. This one's kind of stacked on top of it, but that's all right. I might need to move the oysters somewhere, but... Oh, really? Um... Look at all this good stuff. Um, the berries. What do I got here? 100% oh, I forgot I had that one. Bobbles. Should put the oysters here. Estonium. This one's also kind of a small one. Put the thing over there. But it goes up. There's a few layers to it. And we'll go up and see in a minute. We got a bloodstone back here. I think you can hide from me. If you're never sure, you can always look here to see it. As you grab certain items, they'll disappear. This one right here, you'll see it. And then once you got it, it's gone. Where's the other one that gets upstairs? Let's get these. Hey, look, you can test out your fighting skills. Wop, wop. This little good guy. Pinata. And it's not like there's a lot of stuff, but I mean, if you do it every day for a year, you know, if you're doing your dailies, log on and do this 365 days a year, you could definitely make out pretty nicely. So by the time the next festival rolls around or something like that, you'll have some good stuff. Basic stuff here. Just the feline things. That right here is the uh, black lion thing. The dead bird. Now we go up. I think I went up the wrong side. That's all right. Let's go back down this side. Get the tree. 
looks like I did get the band bandit chest, right? Yes, I did. It's right here. Oh, and then we can go up to the. Safe. Platform, which you could actually run up this way into it, but it is easier just doing it this way. Yay! Look at all my blossoms. I love these things. Sweet and steady. And I think I got everything, right? Let's see. Anything else on the map? Nope, that's the gardener. That's the other things. I don't see anything else. But this is the Silvari instance, the home instance. Cool, huh? So let's go here real quick deposit this here's the two black dines the one i forgot from the soren and today so let's open them up open them up you really see one of those and this is what we get oh the good stuff we might have to change the blood to something else but i hope you guys enjoyed and the next one should be the char i believe and that would be the last one so i'll see you there bye bye Okay, we are back in the Char home instant. Like all the others, we are here to see what the Char home instant is all about. It's much like the other ones. This one is slightly bigger. I guess, um... Huh. I wonder, is this... I'm going to say Norn is the biggest. Char... I think Char would be the second. Silvari third and Asura last. No, human. Huh. Humans is kind of big too. I think they're kind of in the Char territory. It might be... I don't know. I honestly don't. It, it's... It's Char or Human. So let's say Norn is the biggest. That's just all the way around. Human or Char? Huh. I think... I think Char might be bigger than Human, maybe? But then Human has a couple of different areas to it, but so does Char. It has these things in here. Like this area in here. And you can go up. And there's a room somewhere where you can go up even further. I th think Char would be the second. Human third. Silvari then a sword. Silvari has a lot of ups too. So that's my that's my go. That's that's my personal opinion. You know, others might think differently. You do. Hey, let me know. I'm all about listening. Now let's see. We're gonna go back here, of course, and get the lost chest. Get the winter berries, and of course the Christmas tree. You know, it's it's char, so they're gonna hide this Christmas tree behind everything. They can't help themselves. I guess you could think of... Uh, yeah, I should go over there first, but... Ch the Char are the... I'm going to get geeky. Klingons of the Guild Wars. <laughs> Tyria. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the best way to think about it. There we go. I just like how he sits there and does that. Let's get my trees on. And I, I've said it 
in other, the other home incident instances uh this is not everything i am still missing four or five items for the home instance i think the hardest one again will be the chest which you get from um you get from completing an achievement that one i haven't done yet i'm still stuck on the don't get hit by flying objects one that's just so much fun. I've tried it many times. And I've watched other videos where people have had little tricks where you fly up to a tree and all this and step on a branch. But I'm going to tell you, it just, it just hurts. After a while, you just got to stop and go, okay, you win. And, you know, I'll go back to it eventually. Eventually. One day. When I'm on a weekend. And I feel like I'm Superman, King of the World. But I definitely, that's one I'm missing. And then there's a couple other ones I gotta, you know, either... No, I'm gonna have to buy them through the... Uh, through the trade, Black Lion Trade up here and if you're ever curious i think you can go in and look up um is it node oops how about node three yeah you can look up the nodes you can get for the houses there's a bunch of them in here still so you know a couple gold here and there not too expensive you know not too expensive at all <laughs> Somebody out there is going, yeah, right, not too expensive. Shut up. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying, you could do a lot of fractals. I mean, you make some gold on fractals. Um, dungeons, but unless you have like a solid team, I mean, you could look for groups on dungeons, but they they come and go. Not many people do dungeons anymore, unless you get with a guild and. They do a lot of dungeons. Um, there's a lot of make gold um, events, kind of like you, where you follow the commander around, which is kind of cool. I do that from time to time, too. Look at this dude. Just rocking in the air, man. And I think you can go on YouTube and find a bunch of uh, how to how to make gold quick kind of things. And I know there's like these tricks with tradering, tradering, using the trades and buying stuff low, selling high kind of thing. And yeah, that's for somebody else. Smells like it's there are much smarter people than me that get that done. Just, just go to My favorite one, though, hands down, is fractals. I really like doing fractals. It works for me nicely. Oh, that's the kitty kitty thing. I think, have I got it? Nope, I have not got everything. See there here? There's the jade. Where's the jade at? There it is. And, oh, nope, look. I got a petrified. Always look at your map when you get a whole bunch of them. I'll never forget the first time. I think the Asorin is one of the easiest ones to do. Human is pretty easy. I mean, you could build a nice little path and just run around it. I hate it. It looks like I have got everything. Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of all the home instances. And, uh, you know, come again. Look. Yeah, get him, kitten. Even though you're holographic. Do you hit it like this? Ah, oh, he playing with the kitty. Ooh. All right, <laughs> I'll stop playing. Thanks for uh, stopping in, seeing these home instance videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and learned something. 
you know, seeing how cool it is with a home instance. And then, you know, next time, you know, look around. I have other videos all over the place. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye-bye.